What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. And today, we're going to talk about the Shy Season 2. Um, the official trailer just released probably about 45 minutes ago. So I'm going to break it down the best that I can. I try to just, you know, talk about the key points that I saw in the trailer, the official trailer. So let's go over it. You guys leave your comments, theories, everything down below. Let me know what you thought about the trailer. And I will leave the link in the description to the trailer. And you can see some of the trailer in this video on the side. Now, we start off the trailer with your boy Kevin being talked to about possibly not making it, you know, to being an adult. And then we start to see the breakdown in every other character. We start to see all these images. We see the return of your boy Brandon. You can see he's stressing out. Something that he normally does. In season one, we see him stressed out. So in season two, it's going to be probably new problems that we're going to see with Brandon. Now we see in this scene right here, your boy Ronnie. And if I had to guess, I would say that's Jada behind him. Now we know it's been rumors of the two hooking up possibly getting together is something that a lot of the fans thought would happen in season one and i'm thinking in season two that jada and your boy ronnie may get together now detective cruz well i guess officer cruz in this scene right here lets me know that it's going to be some flashbacks you're probably going to get the backstory of detective cruz we know um, before you become a detective you got to serve on the police force so it seems like we're going to get the backstory of detective cruz as well in the shy season two so they probably do a lot of flashbacks on certain characters this next season and we see new characters like this lady right here she's hitting somebody somebody it looks like she hit brandon but i could be wrong i could be wrong but she's one of the new characters that's going to be in the shy could just be for that episode who really knows and we see in this scene right here, your boy Ronnie looks like he talking to Jada, in my opinion. It could be Tracy, but I'm going to say more likely Jada based on the hair. But we'll see in this next season. Then we get to your boy Jake. Looks like your boy Jake has cut his hair. He's smoking the blunt. Let's me know he's going to be into a lot of new trouble coming. A lot of new trouble. This is a character... He may not make it, y'all. This kid right here is just nothing but trouble. And bad things is going to happen to him. But hopefully, he can clean up his act. Hopefully, his boy, Papa, can help him clean up his act. As you can see, I told y'all, Papa, he's pretty much, uh, he's the life of, of the group. Um, he likes to have fun. He likes to spit facts. And he knows a lot. The kid is just a great kid to me, man. A good little actor. And I can't wait to see more of Papa in season two of The Shy. Now, we're going to see, you know, how Ronnie is acting, behaving in jail. We're going to see what's going on. Like I said, maybe they give us the backstory why he's in jail on how he met Detective Cruz and how everything began. But, yes, we will see him in jail, serving time, doing what he got to do. I don't know how long he's going to be in there, but I say he will get out. Now, this character, he's a new character. I don't know his name. I don't know, you know, what he's going to be doing. But it looks like he's an OG and he's going to have a lot of clout and a lot of power. He reminds me of Quentin. And another thing is this. In this entire trailer, I did not see Quentin at all. I checked the list. It doesn't seem like your boy Quentin is going to be in season two of The Shy as of right now. Now, if I find out anything, I will let you guys know. If you know anything, you let me know. But I did not see Quentin at all in the cast for The Shy season two, which is kind of sad because I was hoping we would see him. Um, we see the fellas once again kicking it together. It looked like they was just boxing or whatever in the gym. Nothing too serious. But um, that's doing typical stuff that they normally do, having fun. Now we see Kevin's mother. Something ain't right. And this is one of the things that I noticed in the trailer. Something's not right. Somebody passed away, I believe. Um, I said that in, my, in the teaser trailer that they gave us a month ago. Um, something's not right, man. Somebody close in the family has passed away. I do not know who it is, but as you can see, they're at a church and we already see, we're going to see Keisha and Kevin in all black. They're at a funeral. Now, who died? I don't know. Somebody very close. Now, the rumor in the, you know, the rumors was that the shy season two is going to focus on fatherhood. So could it be possible that it's their father? 
Could it be possible that it's a stepmom? Who knows? But somebody close to them has definitely died and it's affecting them a whole lot. As you can see, Kevin is very pissed off. Um, whoever this person was, was definitely close to Kevin and also Keisha. And, you know, it just it's just that simple. Somebody close to them passed away. And I think it's going to have more of an effect on Kevin than Keisha. Because just based off what he's been doing and what he's been saying. Now, also in the trailer, we see this guy right here. We can clearly see that that's Reg. We see him. He's going to be returning. I got a feeling your boy Reg is going to be on a whole nother level. I wonder how he's going to be um, how he's going to be handling his operation with Quentin not being there. You know, how, how are they going to write this out? I can't wait to see how it plays out, man. Um, now we see Kevin now. It seems like your boy Kevin actually likes the girl now. You know what I'm saying? At first, he acted like he didn't like her. But after this makeover, after spending time with her, it seems like he likes her, man. And he finally goes for the kiss. So we're going to see how that plays out, man. She's, I guess she was supposedly supposed to like Papa, but we're going to see how it plays out. Now we get to your boy, Brandon and Jerrica. They're back. It seems like they're trying to fix their relationship. It seems like good things are going to happen with the two. And I hope good things happen. We know how season one ended. The two was together. You know, they start sleeping with other people. It was a bad ending for the two, but they fixed it. You know, they tried to fix it at the very end. And as of right now, it seems like stuff is going well for the two. So we're going to see how their relationship goes in season two of The Shy. Now, I talked to you guys about flashbacks. Now, is this a flashback? Who really knows? It could be a possible flashback. Now, the two are looking at a kid, and it could be a flashback, or it could be the present time. We just got to wait and see. But that's Tracy. That's your boy, Ronnie. And we know they had a history together. Is this a flashback, or is it present time? And speaking of fatherhood, we see Emmett bonding with his father because they said the theme of this season will be about fatherhood. So we're going to see a lot of that this season because we know the black community lacks fathers in the household. So Lena Waithe, they did an excellent job by making that the theme and trying to focus more on that this season. Um, we also see your boy Kevin talking to, I believe, some type of counselor, getting counseling, you know, trying to help him fix his head. Um, Kevin's going to have a tough season, y'all. It's just that simple. Based on what I've seen in his trailers, the um, teaser trailer, he's going to have some demons that he's going to have to get through. And hanging around Jake and a lot of negativity, he can do some bad things. You know, a lot of bad things. Now, his mother tells Detective Cruz it's hard raising a black boy. And it is. You know, it's very hard growing up um, being raised as a young black male in the society. It, it is. Um, Detective Cruz is there talking to Kevin's mother, lets me know that something happened. Why is Detective Cruz there? For what reason? Let's me know that your boy Kevin is into something, you know, or he does investigating some type of crime. But we're going to find out more about that once season two starts. And one of the other things that I looked at in this trailer was your boy Emmett. Looked like he about to get jacked, like he was asleep or something. Woke up and he seen some people. Maybe they're trying to steal his shoes, steal his money. Who knows? But we know for a fact in season two of The Shy that your boy Emmett most likely is going to still be on his shoe shit, trying to sell shoes, trying to hustle. Um, I know he was trying to make a little hustle with that um, that guy that worked at the store. So we're going to see what happens between Emmett and his business. Hopefully he stays out of trouble and is able to do the right thing. Now we get the return of Common. Um, his character is Rafiq in The Shy, and it looks like he's going to be back trying to help Ronnie give him good advice and get his head straight. And that's good because Ronnie's going to need that. He's going to need someone to push him and help him overcome his many demons that he had in the past. And we see your boy Brandon. He's back. It looks like he's in the kitchen. Is this his own business? This is not a food truck. Does Brandon have a new job does he work for another company you know this is something that he loves so we're gonna see how it plays out but man hopefully hopefully he got it on his own business man i hope he do but with brandon you just never know now it seems like it's some type of protest going outside of whatever jerica's at it could be her place someone else's place but a property um it's a protest going on 
we already know Jerrica does all this housing stuff. So when season two starts, we're going to see what she gets herself into and why are these people outside protesting wherever she's at. And then we see Emmett and Brandon bonding. So that lets me know that something serious has happened. The two is bonding. The two need each other. You know what I'm saying? They need each other, you know, and hopefully things play out the best for the two. You know what I'm saying? They are two good characters, man, with good hearts at the end of the day. Now, Reg, as I told you guys, is going to be a character that's probably going to piss us off. Some people like Reg in season one. I think Reg was okay. He gave the, the shy a lot of, you know, a lot of good acting, you know, his theme. Everything about him was great in season one. So season two, I can see him doing a lot of dirty shit, especially learning so much from Quentin. He's going to come back with no remorse for nobody. You know, he's got something to prove this next season. He's supposed to be the... The, the top dog. So we're going to see just how much he's learned from your boy Quentin. And now we see Ronnie. You see the gate. You see him being released from jail. He's free now. Remember, this could be a flashback, but I say it's not. I say Ronnie is finally getting out. I already talked about him getting out. You know he's not going to stay in jail the whole season. Somehow, someway, Detective Cruz is going to help him leave jail. And then we get to the end of the trailer. Which was in the teaser trailer, Kevin, Keisha, something bad has happened. Somebody died that's very close. Like I said, they say it was the season is supposed to be based on fatherhood. You know, Lena Waithe stated herself that the shy season two will be more real. You know, so expect some deep stuff to happen this next season. Overall, the trailer was great. It was a lot of other things that I could have put in this recap. Those was the major things that I saw. Now, maybe it was some other things that pretty much just showed us the scenery of Chicago, you know, you know, stuff that happens in the city. Um, they play meat meal. Um, overall, great trailer, man. I cannot wait. The Shy Season 2 airs April 7th, Sunday, April 7th on Showtime at 10 o'clock. I wish this was airing at 9 o'clock, but it's going to be airing at 10. So it is what it is. Hopefully... They take notes like power and give us the episode early on the Showtime app the night before. I really hope they do that. Now, we know when the Shy first aired, they gave us the whole episode, a whole episode, like three weeks early. You know what I'm saying? So hopefully they do something similar, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping they give us that episode early on Saturday night because some people got to work Sunday, man. Some people don't be up that late on Sundays. You know, so hopefully they give us that episode early for the people that got the app. That way we can already watch the episode. And at the end of the day, people are going to support the show. But you guys let me know what you thought about the trailer. If you haven't, make sure you go watch it. I will leave the link in the description to um, Showtime's page to the Shy Season 2 official trailer. But keep supporting your boy, man, because I'm going to break down this season. We're going to start talking about it now. The official trailer is out. So... Best believe I'm about to start breaking down these characters. We are, what, two months out? We got February, March, April, about two. Yeah, about two months in the shy season two will be airing. So be ready for the videos and the new content. But I'm going to get on out of here, man. It's your boy, Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.